On April 7, 2021, a teller at a Chase Bank in Florida identified a customer as a potential fraud suspect based on an alert received via email from another branch. The suspect attempted to deposit a $30,000 check into what she claimed was her son's bank account. The outcome of the case will be discussed at the end of this video. That one? Yeah. Is she, is she here in a car? I don't know if she's here in a car, but she went to another branch, and then they called here and said that they were coming here. Okay. My, my manager, who's over Brevard and Volusia County, said that there's a warrant out for her arrest for a person named Clients from Brevard County. He sent me the detective's name, and he's working on her case. Okay. Right. So I don't know if she's in the car. I don't know exactly what she's doing, but that's her right there in the picture. Okay. That's what I'm being told. I didn't interact with her, but right. we kind of all knew she was coming. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fine. What, what's your name? I'm sorry? What's Christine? your name? Christine what? Tyler. Christine Tyler, okay. Siler. Do you have Siler? Mm -hmm. Do you have ID with you? Mm -hmm. She does. Yep. Can I? No can, from the Tyler okay, cool. Thank you. For information, you might have a warrant out of Brevard County. Yeah, so we're just going to confirm that real quick and then we'll let you know, okay? okay. Yeah. Uh, what, brings you, what brings you in today? Transfer some money to Transfer money to your son. Okay. Right. Are you from Brevard County? No. no? Okay. Alright. How, uh, how did you get here? I'm sorry? Did you drive here? No. Everyone just went to find me. Where's he at? He's out in the parking lot somewhere. What kind of car does he have? Um, it's a rental. It's a silver. Uh, I don't know. Equinox, I think. Silver Equinox? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to go all the time. I don't have any, any info yet. So, other than they got a tip from um, another branch that she was headed here and that she may have a 49 out of Brevard. Okay. I'll be right back. Ma'am, do you have any form of identification other than your passport card? No. No? Okay. Do you have a driver's license? Let me say that I have a warrant underway. We're looking into that. Mm -hmm. I can't confirm or deny anything yet. Um, you don't have a driver's license? Have you ever been issued a driver's license? No, yeah. Out of what state? Florida. Florida? Okay. Where is that? It's at my sister's. Take your sister's. Okay. And what's your name? Christine. Last name? Siler. What is it? Siler. Siler? Okay. And your date of birth? Um, oh, don't put me so nervous. I'm sorry? I was not expecting any of this to happen today. Okay. Are you okay? What's the matter? You got upset because I asked you your date of birth? Huh? She doesn't know her date of birth. Christine Seiler? Yeah, she has a... Yeah. Um, Here, hold on real quick. Do me a favor. Just stop. Stop. Hey, one second. Let me... Hey, this is you, Miss Siler. No. Well, you told me. All right, go ahead. I'm I'm clear. Okay, listen to me. Okay, look at me. Can you look at me? All right. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand these rights? With these rights in mind, you willing to talk to me? Is that your ID? Okay, is your ID in your purse? Huh? No? What's your name? Brenda? Spell it. How'd you get here today? My friend brought me. Who? My friend brought me. And where are they? They were out in the parking lot. And what kind of vehicle was it? It's, it's um, a 
Okay. What's their name? I call him A. You call him A? Is he white male, black male? Huh? How do you know him? What's the arrangement today when he brought you here? Hmm? To get money? Did he provide you with that ID? Okay. Well, his his friend did. There was another one in the ma in the vehicle. Yeah, yeah he's not, no, he's not the one that provided is here. Okay. Do you have any more? Good. Fifty-four. We're in contact. You can come here. One, one second, Brenda. Okay, so where do you live, Brenda? In Melbourne. In Melbourne? Okay. How, how'd you get up here? I told you in the Equinox. Okay. From Melbourne today? Mm -hmm. How many banks have you gone to today? Um, just two. Just two? How much cash have you gotten None. today? None. None? What happened at the other two banks? Um, no, I just didn't get anything. How many times have you done this for the guy A? Not much. Well, I mean, is today the first day, or have you done this in the past, or what? So what's your cut? If you get some cash, how much do you get? I'm not even sure. Huh? I'm not even sure. If they said it, it would be like 15, 20%. So how much do you typically withdraw at a time? So this check is made out for 30 grand. How much of that would you have gotten? It depends on how many people went on and given the information mm -hmm. to what I did. Okay. So in, in, in times past, do you y'all go to a bank? He gives you an ID. Um, do you typically wear a wig or something like that if you have to? No, you've never had to wear a wig or a disguise or anything like that. You just wear the mask because of the COVID stuff. Okay, and so he'll give you an ID, and then he tells you he gives you some banking information, and he tells you to go up to the clerk and make a withdrawal for however much he tells you to. Okay, and then. So you'll, you'll make a withdrawal, you'll get back in the car, and then you'll give him the cash, and then he'll give you a cut? Mm -hmm. Okay. And and how did you meet up with him? Um, just to a, a, a mutual friend. A mutual friend, okay. And how long have you been doing this? Not long at all. No? Okay. Let me ask you some personal questions, okay? Do you have a drug problem? Do you use pills? What do you use? Is it in your purse? There is some in your purse? Okay, is there any on your person? No, no. There's nothing in your bra or your underwear or anything like that? Okay. So you do this to support your habit? Okay. So you, you so he gave you that ID today, knowing that that's not you. You came up here to this bank to withdraw cash out of someone's account knowing it wasn't your account, correct? Okay. And y'all text each other? Do y'all text by phone or anything like that? How do y'all communicate? We, we text or call. Okay, it says number in your phone? Mm -hmm. Okay. How many people do you communicate with when you when you do this type of stuff? Yeah. Two? A and what's the other guy? Cheese. Cheese? Is he also a black male? Do you know where they're from? New York. They're from New York. Okay. Do you, you don't know their real names or anything no, like that? I don't. No. Does it make you nervous? It does. I, I was actually, I swear to God, believe it or not, I was going to stop this weekend. Read that. Weekend, so... Worried that this was gonna happen, but but you you, you do this because you got to support your habit, right? No, it's not because I got to support my habit. Because I want to help my kids, basically. You want to help your kids? The thing. How many kids you got? Four. You got four well, kids. I have three. I have my daughter was my daughter passed away three years ago. Okay. Do you have custody of your kids? They're all they're in their twenties. Oh, they're all in their twenties. Okay. So are you still having to support them? No, no, no. I said help them. Oh, to help them. What just financially? I can as a mom. They live down there in Melbourne? They know you do this? No? You ever been arrested before? What have you been arrested for? Driving. Just driving? Just traffic driving stuff? And, and a drug charge. A drug charge? Year. Are you out on bond or anything like that? Um, You're out on bond? What are you out on bond for? Um, I actually am in the I'm always done with a drug case. A drug, charge, a drug case. A drug, okay. a, a drug case? So it, it's not finalized yet? No. Are you waiting on sentencing or something like that? I was actually going to be thrown out. 
you were hoping it was going to get thrown out? Okay. This incident led to an extensive investigation into organized fraud. By April 2022, the charges were escalated and the individual was rearrested for attempting an organized scheme to defraud, a serious felony in Florida. This case is still in progress and expected to continue for some time. Separately, in January 2022, she faced trial for fentanyl possession and was found guilty, receiving a 268-day jail sentence. However, due to credit for time already served, she did not serve additional jail time. Please like and subscribe if you want YouTube to show you more police body cam videos. Thanks for watching Inside Criminals, and I'll see you in the next video.